Hey guys, my name is Kat Kerr and today I'm working again with the new mixed media journal by Graphics. Now, if you didn't watch my first video using this journal, make sure you check out that description below. Um, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to work on each substrate individually so that you can see how I created each page. Now, what makes this journal so unique has to be the substrates. Each journal comes with clear Duralar, matte Duralar, wet media Duralar, white craft plastic, black craft plastic, and natural chipboard. Now today I'm starting with clear Duralar, and if you're not familiar with this product, this is an ultra clear glossy surface. You can use permanent inks and markers on it, and here I ended up spraying some permanent ink that I watered down and I just sprayed it directly onto the surface and let it dry through the stencil. Next I added some gold using acrylic ink and a paintbrush. And then I added some book paper to the back of the page using double tack dry adhesive film. Next up, I'm using the white opaque craft plastic and I'm gonna use a little bit of acrylic paint. I'm going to mist it and then I'm gonna press the other page directly on top of it, smushing it around, creating this delicious texture. Now this is without a doubt my favorite technique when it comes to white craft plastic because the paint does not soak into the plastic and so it easily slides around creating this wonderful texture. Now once that first layer dries, I take some black acrylic paint and some of my foam stamps and I'm simply adding the design to the front of the page. Uh, once that black acrylic paint dries, I take some of my acrylic markers and highlight some of the elements. And again, I'm adding some decorative paper to the back of the pages using the double tack dry adhesive sheets. Now one of the best things about using a craft plastic or any plastic sheets as a substrate is that I don't have to worry about it ripping or tearing. This stuff is extremely durable. And so here I added some holes using a hole punch and then I'm threading it with a sharp needle, adding different threads to create a uh, texture until I'm happy with the design. Now I wanted to protect the threads on the back and I also didn't want to see them and so I decided to add a layer of the double tack dry adhesive film and then I topped it with that second page of black craft plastic and I had um, stitched the side of that back page and once I pressed them together I added some gold acrylic ink and this page is done. Next up, I'm using matte Duralar film, and there's a something romantic about this film. I think it's because it's semi-translucent and it reminds me of weddings and love. And so for these pages, um, the first one I did, I used some gold ink and a dip pen and a marker. And for the second one, I simply put it through my typewriter and added some text. Now I'm using the Wet Media Duralar, and Wet Media Duralar is specially coated on both sides so you can use inks and watercolor and wet medium without it beating up. Now for this page, I simply traced an image from a magazine and I'm just adding some color using watercolor. Now for this page, I added a stamped image using a solvent ink, and once that dried, I painted it in with some acrylic paint, as well as adding some circles. Now it's time to start on the chipboard, and because these are so much thicker, they're going to be the covers, the front and back cover, I first added some black gesso, and then I pulled out my mono printing plate. Now here I am just playing, adding some of my favorite colors, especially colors that I love on the black gesso. I end up adding textures and even use, I think, one of my stencils to add texture until I'm happy with the design. Now 
Next, I take some deep gold acrylic paint, roll it onto one of my foam stamps and press it onto the front and back cover. Once that acrylic paint dries, I take a fine tip marker and just outline the design to help it pop a little bit. Now it's time for some finishing touches and I pulled out an assortment of rub-ons and die cuts that I wanna to add to the journal. And an easy way to do that is I take a sheet of double tack dry adhesive film. I add all of my elements that I want to include in the journal. And remember that this is a sticky sheet. And so in order to get rid of the tackiness, I add some gold powder. And what that does is it creates a border around my image. And then when I'm ready to install it into the journal, I peel off that protective layer and apply it to my journal and it's good to go. Now I finish up the journal by adding text using rub-ons or markers, and I make sure that the journal is cohesive by including the same elements throughout the entire journal. For the complete list of materials used in this tutorial, check out that description below. And for more ideas on how to use the new mixed media journal by Graphics, make sure you stop by graphicsarts.com. Thanks for watching.